All right, for this week's Superintendent Spotlight, I've asked uh, Coach this guy to join me. Um, uh, Coach, I appreciate you taking the time out of you. I know you're busy schedule, but uh, just introduce you a little bit. Coach Six came this year and he's our high school um, health and PE teacher, uh, seven through 12. Mm -hmm. And he's also uh, taken on the challenge of being our head uh, varsity baseball coach. So uh, Coach, if you don't care, just, uh, you know, you, you're not new to the community, but uh, maybe some people don't know you. If you don't care, give us a little bit of background about yourself and uh, what you've done and what's brought you here to Pineville. Cause yeah. we're very glad to have you. Yeah. Um, Jeff Six I, that, that last name is pronounced Six I, like the number six <laughs> and letter I, and, and people look at that name and go, what in the world is this? Um, so my background, first I've lived here in the community um, for 20 years. And um, prior to coming uh, to, to Pineville, I was a, a college baseball coach for, for 21 years. And I was um, most recently the head baseball coach at LMU at Lincoln Memorial. Uh, from 2003 to 2020, and uh, prior to that, um, was an assistant coach at Old Dominion University um, in Norfolk, Virginia. Spent two years there with, with Tony Guzzo, and then uh, prior to that, got my coaching start at Western Carolina University. I was a graduate assistant there. Uh, that's also where I played. I played uh, my college baseball at Western, and um, you know, had the opportunity. Um, you know, following my senior year, was was drafted by the the Yankees in a, the 22nd round in a 98 draft, and uh, played and uh, played hard, worked hard, coach. But um, at the end of the day, wasn't good enough to progress uh, up up the chain to the big leagues. And uh, did well, coach. It, well, <laughs> uh, eventually got told you're not good enough to continue playing. And so that's when I, uh, I got into coaching and um, have have been coaching coach college for 21 years and took a two year break and was the uh, the athletic director at uh, at Cumberland Gap High School prior to coming to Pineville. And what's brought me here. Um, a number of things. Um, number one, uh, you know, I, I've known you, Coach, for, for mm -hmm. quite a while, but um, I've always heard so many great things about Pineville, the school academically, number one, uh, then also the community here. Um, that has always been attractive from a distance for me. Um, and so when the opportunity came and um, to be part of it, I was excited about that. Um, you know, the baseball coaching part of it, it um, you know, I wasn't sure, to be honest with you, at the beginning, if if I wanted to coach again. But Michelle, my wife, and I talked about it, and um, she said, "Well, Jeff, it's kind of what you do. You're kind of a coach mm -hmm. at heart, and I think all coaches are teachers, and all teachers are coaches. And you know, I saw maybe an opportunity to have an impact on kids uh, again. You know, I, I was biggest thing I missed about coaching in college was the the relationships with the kids mm -hmm. and." Um, you know, you have a limited amount of that as an athletic director, but I think you have a little more of a direct impact as a coach. Definitely. And so yeah. I miss that. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably the, the biggest reason I decided to do it. And, um, you know, we have um, some work to do mm -hmm. uh, in the program here, but that's a little bit about my background and what brought me here. Yeah. Well, um, and I went to LMU and, uh, and I know that's a very well-respected program. And, uh, that you did a great job over there. But we had talked in the past, even before you were here, just as friends, um, I was running Chain Rock Youth Basketball. And I remember you came down and I was like, wow, this is fantastic that I have a LMU baseball coach coming down here to, to help his kid, his own child, yeah. and uh, to work with those other kids. And you did a phenomenal job of that. So it really made a positive impression on me and uh, about your character. Um, but then when I had the opportunity to, to get you involved, and you know, as, as uh, I don't, in this area, it's hard to find good baseball people. Um, yeah. And that's something that I want, you know, I've uh, been around the little leagues where I've had my own kids come through. So I wanted to be able to bring somebody with your uh, with your background to, to these kids and, and, and try to give them a better opportunity because you, you know, baseball and uh, could, could be something that they r really use as a, as a catalyst to the yeah. change change the outcomes of their life so uh, yeah I appreciate the efforts that you're giving in now as soon as you got in I do want to say and as some of y'all may have seen it on social media the direct impact the instant impact you had on the fields over there and how yeah. well you had those had them looking um, they still look good yeah. they still look very good but I do know recently that uh, and I, I forewarned you uh, that, yeah. that, that that those fields go underwater and yeah. uh, you know with this last, last flooding that we had um, you know, can you tell us a little bit about that and the impact that's had on the field that uh, 
in, in the shape that it's in right now and, yeah. and how we're going to overcome that because I know we are. Yeah. Um, so my approach to the field, um, you know, for years, my, my wife's parents live uh, right up the street from the Newtown baseball field. So I, I drove by it for the last 15 years. And, uh, and I always thought that, you know, I think that could be a diamond in the rough there. I always thought that. And, um, of course, didn't know that I would ever be coaching baseball mm -hmm. at Pineville. But once I decided to do it, I went both feet in on it. And, yeah, from the very beginning, yourself and – Everybody in the community um, told me the same thing. You know, Coach, it's going to flood down there. It's going to flood. Don't, don't mm -hmm. work yourself too hard. But, Coach, my approach to that has been, um, yes, I know, it, it's going to flood. But if Pineville High School's name is going to be on that field and, and my name is going to be on that field, we need to do the best we can with what we have. That's right. and, and if it, if it floods, it floods. Uh, we'll fix it. Um, yeah. But I, I uh, just feel like, do our best. It's mm -hmm. one of our, our core principles. Uh, we call them the core covenants of our program. One of is do your best. And that means with whatever you're charged with, that's taking care of the baseball field, an assignment in class, um, a relationship with someone. Do your best. And you know, my college coach told me, said, if you're going to put your name on it, it needs to be your best work. So it may flood three more times again right. this year, Coach, but we'll fix it and we'll keep working hard at it because, again, if it's got our name on it, it needs to be the best we can do. Well, I wanted to thank, and I know this, that you worked yesterday, uh, you had the opportunity to work with some of the city uh, people and, mm -hmm. uh, and we were able to get some things accomplished, get that back on the track to where we can uh, get back on the field and get some good practice time in. And uh, so I wanted to appreciate uh, and give thanks to those people that were willing to help. And I wanted yeah. to say thank you because I know it was, I saw you yesterday at the basketball district tournament. I said, you're a little, <laughs> you looked a little weathered. I know you put in a tough day. Yeah, so I well, appreciate that. Yeah, well. uh, but, you know, looking forward, um, you know, we're going to, we're in the start of baseball season. That's one of the reasons I want to bring you here on the spotlight. But, um, uh, you know, the kids are responding well. I've seen that you've had, uh, you know, kids coming to practice and, and working on their skills. And uh, I appreciate those efforts going there. We, we're, we've had to transfer some of that time over to the football field. Uh, but in the future, I've had you involved with our new sports complex that's coming up. And uh, we're going to try to include the uh, baseball field uh, with that. And um, uh, we'll have a softball field and also a football field. But uh, if you don't care, you've had some input and some uh, you've talked to architects about that. If you don't care, tell us a little bit from your point of view of what that's going to offer our students and our community. Yeah. Um, uh, moving forward. Man, what an exciting time. Um, mm -hmm to be an athlete at Pineville, particularly if you're a football player or baseball or softball player. But I mean, all the sport, outdoor sports, you know, for have a turf field, it's it's truly life changing. And, and I, I um, and people may say, well, you go too far with that statement. Uh, it really is. I mean, mm -hmm. when you're able to not have to worry too much about weather or uh, availability of facilities in order to go out and improve um, and then of course the aesthetics of it um, is I mean it look, really looks nice and uh, but it's it can be life-changing for an athlete you know to be able to go out and a sense of pride you know you go out on the field man this is my field mm -hmm. I'm really proud of this and I think it's something that our whole community will be proud of it's it's gonna be an amazing deal mm -hmm. yeah well, I, I just wanted to take this opportunity to highlight the baseball program. I'm look, I look forward to, uh, to, to what we're going to be able to do to accomplish this season and, and even further than that. But I did want to say thank you to your efforts thus far, and uh, I, I know they're going to continue. And if there's any way that we can support, and you've already had great community yes, support. Yes, very much uh, so. I know, so we re really appreciate that. Um, but with that, Coach, uh, I appreciate you, and I appreciate your time here this week on, this, on the Superintendent Spotlight. Thank you for having me. Thank you.